getting some Australian Mackers. I was looking, their menu is like a little different than ours. been waiting for. We made it to the Bundaberg Rum Distillery, except I don't think we can take anything in with us. Because they got, they like had a fire here and then now you're not allowed to take anything in that could start a fire. So nothing with the battery is dead. We go in here? Yeah. Left? That's cool. Big bottle of rum. Hello. This is cool. Oh. <laughs> rum with lemonade. Oh, that one's actually better. That's not. <laughs> this is supposed to be world famous and won all the awards. He got two free drinks. I don't like either of mine. <laughs> Cody likes his. You got what? The coffee one and then like the award winning one or something. Now we're just drinking these before we go check in. Anyways, we're at the bar drinking our drinks before we go check in. Those are nasty. Not a fan. Okay, here's a condo. Come in. Some little kitchen. Dining. A little living room. Bathroom. Cute little backyard. You got the good room? Nice. It's a big bathroom. Oh, hi! hi. <laughs> nope, sharing is caring. Oh, yeah, get this thing going. Here's our room. Oh, what's our view? Out of the back. Cute. Good morning, you guys. We are off to snorkel the Great Barrier Reef today. I think all of us are pretty pumped. Oh, what's happening? Hmm. Okay, I gotta start over. I can't multitask, but we're off to snorkel the Great Barrier Reef. We're going to Lady Musgrave Island. We, um, as you saw, got to Bundaberg yesterday, and then we, it's basically an all-day thing, so it's 5.55 right now. We have to leave at like 6.15 to get down to where the boat picks us up, So, and then we don't get back until like 5.30 tonight, so it's like an all-day thing, but I'm super excited. We get to go snorkeling. It's like a glass-bottom boat tour. Um, if you're certified, you can scuba dive and dive, dive, dive. And then I think if you 
or I think you can do like a guided walking tour through the actual Lady Musgrave Island. So super excited. I think I'm just gonna video on my phone and we brought our GoPro for when we're snorkeling. So hopefully I can get some cool shots. They said that it's their um, like baby turtle hatching season right now. So I'm really hoping we get to see some little turtles because I love turtles. And yeah, I'm super pumped. So that is what we're up to today and like the whole reason we came to Bundaberg aside from the rum for my dad. But I'm just trying to throw my hair in a braid so that it's out of my face for the boat ride. And then we brought all of our own like full face snorkels and everything. But I think we're just gonna use the company's like flippers and stuff. They didn't bring that. But I have learned that the full face snorkel is the way to go because they're just so much easier to breathe and see through and everything. And then ours have the plug at the top. So if it hits the water, it just plugs. So you're not like sucking down water through your snorkel, which is super nice. But anyways, I still, oh, I cannot get rid of this uh, on my forehead. And now I have another one on my chin, which is just lovely for me. But okay, good enough. We are getting packed up and ready to go. I will see you out on the reef. There's our boat. It's a big boat. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I'm hoping some of these clouds go away because it kind of looks like it's going to rain. But I think we have to go like three hours out. So maybe it'll be nicer out there. I don't know. Dad. I knew. No temper tantrums this early in the day. I knew we were going to do shark jump was not getting my hopes up. <laughs> so I called seahorse the most. Our group. You know. Our seahorses. Boringest. Hey, seahorses are cute. Like There's our boat. So now we are getting on one of these glass bottom boats. I don't know where it is at the moment. Oh, over there, I think. One of these, I don't, not sure which one. Um, it's a glass bottom boat, so it'll take us out and then we'll end up on the island and do like a guided walk through the island and then it'll bring us back and then we'll get a snorkel one more time. Are we having fun, everyone? Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> the water's so blue. Yeah, these are actually great conditions. Not, not bad at all. Yeah, and the sun's not out. Jeez! This is where we there went in, snorkeling. Wi-Fi password on this link. Cody. <laughs> Fishies, yeah. You wanna fall? <laughs> the Great Barrier Reef. And then 
that is Lady Elliot Island, only about 20 nautical miles to the south of here. Great Barrier Reef stretches all the way up along the Queensland coast up into the Torres Straits, a whopping 2,600 kilometres in length. It's viewable from space, okay, and it's made up of over 3,000 different reefs. It's not all one connected reef, and over 900 islands. Keep your eyes peeled for turtle. <laughs> there he goes. He's got the mood, is he? Oh, hello, friend. Very difficult to follow the turtles when they're coming to the surface. So he's coming up for a breeze. I'll try and I'll try and skip the boat so you can get a better look at him. There he is. He's going to come up for a breath. Here he comes. Hello. Now you can see he's got his head straight back down once he gets that breath. That's him snorkeling looking for predators. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, welcome to Lady Musgrave Island. Now very shortly, George will be on the front there. He'll let you know when it is safe to depart. Now you'll be on the island here for about 30, 40 minutes. Queensland in the 1880s, named after his wife, who is Lady Judy Musgrave. And they're famous for holding tea parties on the island. Mm -hmm. She started the oldest running charity in Australia uh, to help women in need. So we're going to see a lot of birds. Um, we're going to see a lot of birds that might be trapped in flowers. So we're going to make sure we don't touch any of them as it's all part of the natural cycle. Yeah, let's follow them into the forest. <laughs> Right there, look. Yeah. How you doing? Mm -hmm. This got way back in. Look ahead turtles that come in and they make their way up the beach last night was perfect conditions because it was high tide and coincided with sunset or sunrise um, so when it's cooler they make their way up the beach and these are all turtle nests all along the top that's an old one over there this one's brand new from last night as a darker sand so they use their rudders to make a hole the carapace makes a decline and they lay about 150 eggs the green turtles and then the loggerheads are a bit less because they're larger and then they when they hatch, they head towards the first light that they see. It's about a six day incubation period, so over the next few months they'll all be hatching. Um, and then inland, sometimes they get confused and head towards the city lights due to pollution. So we want to make sure we turn all our lights off if we don't need them, um, to make sure we don't confuse them. And only about one in a thousand naturally survive. So here we have black tip reef sharks, which lurk and wait for the baby turtles. So we obviously want to give them the best chance we can reduce our plastic pollution and everything. And uh, global warming is actually increasing the temperature of the sand, which is producing more females. Um, which sounds like a good thing, but we actually want to keep the balance to get the most turtle. And we, they actually use the magnetic field of the globe. So when they're born, if in 30 years they make it to adulthood, they'll come back to usually the exact same beach. So we think they use that as one of the indicators. We also think they use the taste of the sand and a mixture of currents and temperature to make their way back. They could migrate all the way around the Pacific and then come back to the exact same spot. Those are all the turtle nests. All the dark sand he said are things that's more recent. And then we're going to go look to see if we can see some 
black tip reef shark. What are they called? Black reef sharks? How are we doing? <laughs> you want to see some sharks. These are all sea cucumbers, which is just funny that there's so many of them. We're just chilling, waiting for our boat to come pick us up and take us back, and then I think we're gonna go snorkeling again. <laughs> Potato pods. That's a parrot fish. We've got the colorful parrot fish. 